Nine years ago this week, President Obama spoke at the Cathedral of the Holy Cross in Boston after the Boston Marathon bombing that killed three people, including eight-year-old Martin Richard and severely injured 27 people, including Martin's sister Jane, who lost a leg. And our hearts are broken for eight-year-old Martin with his big smile and bright eyes. His last hours were as perfect as an eight-year-old boy could hope for, with his family eating ice cream at a sporting event. And we're left with two enduring images of this little boy, forever smiling for his beloved Bruins and forever expressing a wish he made on a blue poster board. No more hurting people. Peace. No more hurting people. Peace. I was in Holy Cross Cathedral that day covering the aftermath of the marathon bombing. There was a candlelight vigil for Martin Richard the day after the bombing on a field where I used to play Little League Baseball. I visited the third grade classroom where Martin Richard made that poster that suddenly became so tragically famous. Last summer, Martin's remarkable father, Bill Richard, who, like his wife Denise, was also injured in the bombing, took me on a tour of the best kids park I've ever seen. It's called Martin's Park. Bill Richard, in partnership with state and the state officials in the city of Boston, led the creation of this heaven for kids. When the Richard family was standing near the finish line of the Boston Marathon nine years ago, eight-year-old Martin was looking up at his big brother Henry. In this year's Boston Marathon on Monday, the now 20-year-old Henry Richard ran the 26-mile marathon course. This photo was taken by his sister Jane. This finish line photo was also taken by Jane when Henry finished in four hours and two minutes. After crossing the finish line of the Boston Marathon, Henry talked about the only member of the family who couldn't be there. I know if he was here, either this year or the next coming years, he would have been doing it with me, so I just, that's all I can think about. And that's... Henry Richard gets tonight's last word.